Hello guys, it's Isabel from Horses Travel Vlogs. I hope you've been uh, doing great. So today I'm bringing you a small tag haul because I've been uh, in vacation recently and I've uh, come back a few weeks ago. Oh, well, not a few, well, probably when you see this video it will be at least maybe a week or a week and a half I came back from my vacation. So I bought a few uh, things for my miniature horse and also uh, other, well, no, mostly things for my miniature horse because I do have a lot of things for Jack. So it's a mini tag haul from uh, Europe. So um, I'm going to present my first uh, haul. So I've ordered some stuff from a miniature horse store. So it's store in uh Netherlands that um, a web store and they send uh, products specifically for miniature horses. So um, Can the cat please get away from my bag? <laughs> so I bought some uh, Miniature horse fly masks. So these are the uh, Lycra fly masks uh, I think they're a little big, but uh, after uh, I do have a baby still a baby She's just one year old uh, so maybe for an adult it has uh, pretty much some sense um, so yes I've also bought a small show halter so I'm gonna show you this right now okay. I've bought a small uh, adult show halter as you can see uh, it's uh, really like a western uh, show halter. Unfortunately, this is not from a miniature horse. This is a gift uh, for someone. It is not leather. It's biotine. Uh, biotine? Anyway. Uh, but really resistant and uh, really nice. Like it's a, it's a western show halter. After I bought a few brushes, so... Um, these brushes are not from the miniature horse store then, uh, they are actually from uh, a horse called Pad in uh, France. So I bought a um, curry comb like this. They are large sized but that's because I have large hands uh, and they are also suitable for miniature horses. Yes, miniature horses are fragile at some points but they are pretty well builded. So I'm I'm, I'm not really uh, really big of a deal, I'm not really worried. So I bought a magic brush, uh, usually I get them in the States but I can't find some uh, lately, so I bought one there. I also uh, bought a gel curry comb, so this gel curry comb is a little smaller, but my hand does fit in it. Uh, this is just to uh, go on the fragile pieces if I can say. So that's all from that store. At Decathlon I bought a brush bag that was included with a few brushes. So it opens like that. There's a few pockets to put some uh, spray bottles. But I think I'll just put my brushes in there. So, uh, yes, I do have a kit for Jack, uh, but I want my uh, own kit that I can keep in the car when I go to visit my miniature horse. So, here uh, in that kit, I had a few brushes. So, I had uh, this articulated kind of hard brush. So, you can like flex it like that and go on the, over the legs with a strap handle like this so I have this brush I have um, a thing to scrape off the water water scraper anyway I don't really know how we call that sweet scraper anyway uh, for bathing I have a hoof pick I have a big sponge for bathing. A uh, main in telcom. And 
And also this brush, but this also seems to be a hard brush. Really, the the softer brush really seems to be the articulated one, and this seems to be the hard brush. And I got all that kit at the Decathlon. You can probably now find it in North America, like they started to uh, open the cat loans uh, around here. But uh, I got it in France. So, of course, the other brushes that I bought will go uh, into the brush bag. So I really have a complete brushing set for my horse. Uh... I did buy a few things at uh, Kramer, Kramer. Um, if they are in here. Yes. So uh, there I bought, as I maybe mentioned in my previous video, I am uh, doing the, heat, the hooves of my miniature horse and also a few hooves of the others. So I bought this really miniature rasp. So I'm just gonna explain a bit is when I use a large rasp like for normal horses I often rasp my my finger or my thumb uh, and for really baby baby hooves like mine who's only one years old a little bit over uh, this is just great and um, I will be able to more do in detail some things also I kind of I kind of uh, hate these hoof knife that are like only have one side that is sharp so I bought um, one like that which is oval uh, it's a boot knife or something I don't really remember how we call uh, no loop knife yeah uh, but it's more easy to like push and you can really do it in both sides it even if you're like left or a right hand so I, I bought this with a sharpening stone because as you know usually uh, hoof knife blades are dull so I have my little um, sharpener if I need to. Uh, I wanted to also to buy some nippers but unfortunately I didn't find uh, the nippers they had were huge nippers like for draft horses. Uh, no I'm not going to use this on miniature horse so I'll be looking to get some uh, off Amazon probably they I think they have or tough one they like have some 12 inch nippers something like that so uh, I'll get a pair soon now I'm gonna finish with the uh, tack off from miniature horse store as like I said so I bought a small lead line as you can see, it's really a cheap at clip, but it's um, it's really lightweight clip. So I'll see if it's gonna, if it's gonna hold on. Really, Mystic doesn't really pull, so it's to see. But I really wanted a light weighted um, lead line that was suitable for a miniature horse. But if she breaks it, I'm gonna take a normal uh, line for uh, an adult horse. So uh, what I like is here I filled up my thing, but as you can see, I can um, put, for example, my hoof knife, sharpening stone, and my rasp. I can put everything into the bag as well on the side pocket and I'm thinking about doing the same thing for the lead line like this so really I can just have this in the car and just pick it up whenever I go see my uh, miniature horse so I also bought a fly mask for Mystic so this I'm just gonna unwrap it As I'm going to show you, it it seems large, but it's not as large as, you know, it does stretch. But I'm sure, like, there's a little scratch here, and if the horse has a halter, I can just hook it up on the halter, so she won't really lose it. So, 
So I'm gonna try. Uh, here I really took the miniature horse size. There is a mini miniature, so maybe uh, if really I have trouble fitting it, I'll maybe redo an order. Really, they're 10 euros, so it's not a big of a deal if it's a little large, but uh, as you can see, I can tie it. So I think I'm also gonna put um, this into the bag. Anyway, I'll probably have one bottle of detangler or something, but I, I, I buy it here. Um, so, I bought a miniature lunge line with the uh, clip that goes on the halter. It's black, it doesn't have blue. Again, I can probably look and fit in this lens line just on the top of my bag here. So, really neat. You can zip it up because that part is pretty full. And I have this miniature halter which uh, goes with the lead line with the checkered effect which is very very nice again um, like I said I'll probably have to put it into the section that has the brushes in yes anyway. but it, the bag is spacious I'll really be able to put everything in the bag uh, I know the bag has yeah, the bag needs to be a little bit sewed again because there's like a hole that falls into it, but it's not a big deal. Um, I always bring back catalogs. And lastly, I have this polar brown kit for Mystic with a collar to uh, keep her dry if we work a lot into the winter for her to not get a cold. Like I said, I could make it fit into the bag but um, that I bought for the brushes, but it would be a little bit uh, too much into the bag. So I'm just gonna leave it uh, on the side and uh, or take, uh, for example, I'll take like a, a, a tote like this and just put it inside and put it in my car. Like this. So, uh, just bring these two bags into my car and I have everything for my miniature horse on the run. So, why are you asking me pretty much in my car? Well, um, because when the owners are not there, the barn is like closed. So, I always keep the things on me for my miniature horse. Uh, for the moment, it's uh, just easier. But that's my tack haul and it's about uh, all my uh, things that I got for Mystic. So, I hope that you liked my tackle and we'll see you soon for a new video. I don't really know really what's next. Um, it Maybe my vacation blog, blog has already appeared, like maybe uh, it's going to appear after, but after that um, we'll see. I'll see what I, I can propose, so um, I'll see you soon guys. Thank you very much and have a great day, bye bye.